good to see you. All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we find ourselves here in the City of the Falling Flame again, and uh, this time we're going to be running Volley with a just a charge drain uh, set up here as uh, uh, the GXL Defender runs fairly well off of light value, and it does very well off of uh, damage, actually, and it has really, really good <laughs> defenses, and it has fairly good fire resistance. Now we're not going to be um, completely, in, excuse me, completely invincible here, as uh, we have been kind of in the past. So here, you'll notice that we're at the 143, our 153 mark on our uh, fire damage, and so that means that we can still take fire damage and everything. And so we just definitely need to watch ourselves as we go through here. But uh, we should be a-okay, uh, no problem at all, getting through here. And uh, most of the time, we won't even have uh, Elemental Wall going, uh, just because of the fact that uh, we'll be we'll be trying to um, we'll be trying to get through here uh, with as much damage as possible. But uh, where where that will uh, help us is that uh, we can go for health back on regenerative drain uh, because we have a regenerating uh, we have a regenerating uh, veil. And uh, since we have a Hound's Head, we can get back 10% of our health very, very quickly and easily with the possibility, as uh, we've stated in the past several times, with the possibility of abusing the Hound's Head uh, as it moves through the enemy. And at least we're invincible for the um, for the walk through the flames here. Okay. And uh, we'll uh, let this guy uh, figure out what he's doing. Ouch. Okay. And we lost some health there. Uh, whoops. And we lost uh, Merciless Reaper as well. Now remember, our uh, weapon is completely useless to us, basically. So we have to keep that in mind. But uh, we'll go ahead and get back some health here. Uh, so we can get um, uh, uh, some some of our gifts going again. As well as um, uh, Cleansing Light. So let's uh, go ahead and head on up here. And we'll uh, drop down over here so we get the monkey first. Okay. Oh, monkey, where are you going? There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and get up to a charge train here so we get uh, health back from the monkeys before we That's get around idea. the corner here to deal with uh, the big boy. There we go. Okay. And uh, since we have auto tracking with our uh, uh, targeting ability there, we'll go ahead and make sure that we have... Uh, we have all the ability there to go around and uh, follow him as he uh, transitions from one place to another. And that's why uh, a Hound's Veil is so good when it's paired with uh, Regenerative Drain. And especially in this kind of an area, it uh, makes for a really, really good uh, setup overall. Uh, but uh, it definitely is uh, a very different way and different strange way to play uh, because you are constantly going for your Veil. Uh, to do damage, rather than um, rather than uh, your your weapon or gifts or anything of the sort, so you're little you're literally just uh, trying to go for uh, big damage on your drain attacks and to get those accelerated and uh, up up to uh, full damage as as fast and as quickly as possible overall. So let's go for a charge on this guy. Ouch! Now we're, uh, we don't want to be getting uh, infinite restand. Oop, I'm stuck. That was weird. Okay, we'll go for a backstab instead, I guess, uh, because he's just not uh, playing nicely here with us. So we'll, oh, and the gunner is shooting me through the flames. Very interesting. Uh, let's let him uh, do something there. Let's see if I can hit him from here. I can, and uh, we'll get a bunch of our health back uh, and i -Core as well. So we don't have a, a huge, idea. huge, huge amount of I-Core regeneration overall, but we do have uh, just enough to make sure that we are able to um, stay up on everything. Okay, now we uh, lose all of our gifts here, so unfortunate that uh, I forgot about that. But uh, playing through the City of the Falling Flame is always a good time because uh, you can experiment with so many different kinds of builds and setups through here because of how the enemies... Uh, do mostly flame damage, except for the regular, the regular looking lost fellas. Uh, they do, you know, just physical damage, which is why the um, 
uh, the GXL Defender is such a huge, huge benefit to us here because we have really, really good flash and uh, crush resistance as well as having flame resistance pretty high uh, while at the same time doing ice damage on our Veil, which most everybody in here is weak to. So uh, we have kind of a, a really, really good balance um, across the board here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a few of these things going. Uh, now, if we want to, we can go for a uh, drain activator here to make sure that we have um, ample uh, ample uh, uh, I-Core recovery here. Okay, and let's see if we can get some backstabs here and get uh, uh, gift extension going and a couple other things uh, before we uh, uh, fight this boy. Oh, there we go. And remember, our pipe doesn't do any damage or anything like that to him, so it's not really uh, any reason that we would uh, go for um, that we would go for uh, uh, the pipe attacks. And you see there that Jack absolutely got mauled. Uh, he was uh, constantly getting destroyed, but uh, because we had elemental wall and flame protection going, we were able to uh, save him basically. And we'll just continue to backstab and get as much I core here as we can off of this guy. Okay. Good. Oh, and we lost Merciless Reaper. Okay, so... But our pipe is good for uh, staggering because it does uh, crush damage. So we're able to uh, stagger him kind of uh, whenever we choose to do that. But uh, it's not always um, exceptionally easy to get that going. Alright, and here's the regen inducer, but we don't need it. Uh, because we haven't uh, really used any heals yet. And this is just a fun, relaxing uh, sort of a set to uh, run through the City of the Falling Flame here. And in the event that we get uh, Jack up to um, 20 i -core here, uh, we can definitely go for him to uh, make sure that we have ample, ample, ample amount of uh, damage out on the enemy here. Uh, but right now, we just don't, uh, we just don't have that. Uh, capability right now because we just don't have the i cord. Okay, stupid monkeys, come here. Yeah, and that's why I hate monkeys because they are absolutely a pain and uh, they never ever ever go away and they never ever get funner or, or easier. Alright, ouch. And okay, let's go for a charge here. Good. And that got us back a whole lot of I-Core there, so that's very nice. Ouch. Okay. And we're focused, so we could go for a uh, launch, but then we would lose Merciless Reaper. So we're not going to do that. And Jack is still working on a monkey. Because uh, Jack doesn't do almost any damage at all. What He's, a waste uh, of time. Yeah, you're, you're kind of a waste of Revenant. Except for in the, f in the event that we actually can get... Uh, 20 i -core to get Jack uh, in the game here with his uh, overwhelming damage on uh, on a uh, drain attack here. Okay, good. And uh, one more attack and uh, he's down for the count. And uh, that is a, a very, very, very fun way to uh, go about um, going against those fellas. Alright. Good. And you can see that we're we're losing health along the way here, but um, the ability to do charge drains to get us 10% uh, health back uh, versus the balls and the other fellas and everything, uh, it's really, really good uh, that we can recover i -core and recover health all at the same time. And again, this is uh, one of those uh, goofy kind of ways oh, to uh, play through Vayne here, but it's uh, one of the one of the most fun and uh, most challenging kind of ways is to simply just go for uh, drain attacks and backstabs and such uh, because your entire setup is uh, dependent on uh, one kind of attack and it's a very very uh, bizarre kind of attack and uh, the one thing you gotta watch out for is uh, items on the ground because you can't uh, you can't uh, do charge drains and uh, walk over a weapon or walk over an item so very, very weird, very, very bizarre, uh, but that's the way it goes. And we'll sacrifice the damage here from Merciless Reaper just to go for uh, the I-Core uh, on these guys to make sure that we have uh, just enough to get through here. Okay, 
and you can see that our gifts are very 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 expensive and uh, they need to be uh, used a lot and uh, we just don't have the uh, extreme amount of icor recovery but we have plenty of recovery to actually get through if we need to okay so we'll go for everything here good and uh, you okay all right Oh, and, uh, well, we're focused now, so we'll go for launches, because that will, uh, help us get, uh, health back while we're in here. And, uh, we got a lot of health back. Oh, come on. And we'll go for another launch. Now, uh, you saw there we got a huge amount of health back, uh, from this fella. And, and there we go. We got, uh, full, uh, full health up because of the abuse of the framing data of how we uh, strike this guy with our blood veil. And that's why this is so fun to... Um, oh, Jack actually killed a guy. Look at that. Uh, that's why it's so fun to actually go for this set uh, versus, um, versus the City of the Falling Flame because uh, you can absolutely abuse uh, basically everything um, through here. Did we kill it? Nope, not quite. So Jack might kill this thing. Okay, or I killed it by the second uh, head that came through. That's very nice. Okay, so now uh, we definitely need to, um, whoops, uh, make sure we are up to maximum i -Core here, going into the fight with the kitty, or at least as close to uh, max as we can as we can get here, because uh, we're going to need um, all the i -Core we can to go for her, because uh, we'll need to go for Jack as well. Now, even though we have, uh, we're have, we going for slash damage here, because we have Merciless Reaper active, uh, we'll only be missing out on 2.5% of her damage, uh, because we will be getting a huge benefit uh, from uh, Merciless Reaper here. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, and even though we have Jack, uh, and we won't have any real uh, health recovery, it's okay, because we will be going... Uh, for um, we will be going for uh, charge drains, which will help us uh, considerably. All right, and uh, we're out of charge boosters, so that's kind of a problem, but uh, nothing nothing we can't handle or uh, work on at this point. So we'll probably go for the uh, drain activators more um, more active than uh, uh, any other item here, just because we need to have to make sure that we have enough I core to keep elemental wall up because uh, that is the most important one that we have uh, on us right now. And uh, we, will, we will need to... Uh, oh, come on. I just need... Uh, we just stop it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Our stagger resistance is uh, not very impressive here. Okay. Now we're focused at least, so that means that we can uh, get some uh, uh, good uh, stagger resistance here. There we go. Okay, now we have enough i -Core. Okay, and she's going to come in in a crazy way there. And uh, let's go for some health there. There we go. Now let's go for cleansing light. Oh, cleansing light, maybe. There we go. There we go, almost dead. Okay. And uh, one more charge drain. Or, or not. Uh, come on. There we go, because we were focused, we had good stagger resistance. And that's how you can uh, completely ruin the successor of the claw. And the City of the Falling Flame. All good stuff.